We typically live our entire lives never knowing why we are who we are. People would think it has something to do with our past, but it doesn't. Today, I'm going to share a thought-provoking concept that few people have ever considered. And by the end of this video, you are going to have an eye-opening understanding of why you are you. My name is Nathan Cook, and I'm here to help you live a conscious life. Now, before I go over this lesson, I have to give you a heads up. Your ego is going to try to reject everything that I'm going to share with you today because it thrives on the notion of control. And most likely, it believes in free will because that's what it was taught. When we say, I have free will, it gives the ego a sense of power, which is the reason it clings to that belief, not knowing it's all part of an illusion, just how we believe that something could be good or bad or that there's a past and future when all it is is a human construct. The ego is always fixated on boosting the self-centered I and prevents it from knowing the I am. And that is consciousness, which is omnipotent and omnipresent. Right now, consciousness is experiencing itself through the 8 billion people on this planet, from our thoughts and emotions to the passage of cells flowing through our body. And it's all about experiencing experiences without judgment. And we could go really, really deep on this topic, but we're gonna focus on why you are you. So each one of us is a vessel, a conduit for consciousness. And from the very moment of our birth, our life's journey plays out as a carefully orchestrated sequence of events. Think of the people you met that led to lifelong friendships or those seemingly insignificant decisions that altered the entire course of your life or those challenges and adversities that tested your resilience. These weren't random occurrences, but intentional manifestations of consciousness seeking to experience itself through the unique perspective of you. Are you following me here? If not, subscribe to the channel. Once you awaken to this realization, you realize the person that hurt you didn't do it out of malice, but for the experience consciousness desired. Just how consciousness wanted to feel the feeling of hurt through you by that person. So when you're feeling inadequate, angered, worried, lonely, happy, loved, or have a zest for life, it's what consciousness wants to experience. It's not about you or your feelings. I told you, your ego is not gonna like this. Your ego's probably saying, what do you mean it's not about me? What do you mean it's not about my feelings? You heard what the hell I said, and I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your ego. See, the ego doesn't factor in that something more intelligent than us created us. We're actually living out our lives fulfilling the purpose of consciousness. Once I embodied this, I felt peace because I understood why my father chose drugs over his family. And it wasn't because he was addicted to heroin. When I got arrested for breaking and entering, loitering, trespassing, and vandalism, it wasn't because I made a poor life decision. When I got divorced twice, it wasn't because of me or my ex-wives. Why I'm in this closet creating this video isn't to help you live a conscious life, but to fulfill a specific perspective for consciousness that only I can do. So think of all the events that unfolded in your life. No one else could have lived through what you've gone through. And this is precisely why consciousness brought you to existence, for you to be the vessel for those experiences. Someone had to navigate through them, and that someone happened to be you. And you will continue to fulfill experiences for consciousness until it decides to experience death through your being. This is so liberating once you understand this, because you live your life now knowing what's supposed to happen, happens. Let's just not get old together. Let's grow together. Bye for now.